needs a pathway to success. Project Search, it's a new program and it's offering internships to help them build skills that they need for full-time jobs. Fox 8's Jordan Brown went to an informational meeting for us tonight and joins us from Cone Health in Greensboro, which is just one of the internship sites. Jordan. Yeah, Michael, the other one is Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist, and High Point. Students who are into, entered into this program will be able to try out different jobs within the hospital, like in the gift shop, cafeteria, fitness center, and more to figure out what jobs match their skill sets and interests. Now, the goal is for the students to have a full-time job by the end of the program. One parent I spent some time talking to says she's excited that her son will have the same opportunities as other kids his age. I like to fix headphones. Whether it's tinkering with electronics or playing the piano. I might like to play uh, Bruno Mars. Northeast High School senior Walter Lewis has skills he's ready to put to the test in the real world. He likes to work. You know, he introduces himself. He doesn't have a problem. He Basically, he doesn't like to just be still. When he graduates this year, Walter, who was diagnosed with an intellectual delay, will be ready to jump into the workforce. His mom says his disability makes some social situations difficult. It takes a lot of patience. He communicates. Um, it just takes a little bit of time for, and I think a lot of us should do it, to think about what we want to say. And it may not just come out the correct way. His mom hopes Project Search can help him land the perfect job. The program uses internships and special classes to help students with intellectual disabilities figure out the best career path. For many of these students, they may or may not have ever really seen themselves as doing anything after high school. It's just not a vision they may have seen for themselves. The program allows students to do three different unpaid internships over the course of the school year, while also teaching them the communication skills to go along with that job. So you watch them come in and do these jobs, and they're pulling orders in general stores. They're, they're pulling supply orders, or they're serving food, or they're sorting linens, or whatever they're doing, and they're just, they're proud. Avis just wants to see her son reach his full potential, and this program is a promising start toward a bright future. By him having employment, um, feeling like he's a part of the community, and not feeling like, you know, he has to rely on um, disability, you know, and, well, SSI or, you know, any kind of other income, and he can actually work. It's not feeling like you're different than everyone else. Now, the applications are due April 7th. Students must be between the ages of 18 and 22, and they have to be enrolled in Guilford County Schools. Now, tonight was just was the last informational session, but we will have more information about the program on our website. In Greensboro, Jordan Brown, Fox 8 News.